yo what is up welcome back to tvg those video guys and i know it's been a while since we've posted but you know we're back at it like a crack addict so um we're actually just gonna dive straight into today's episode which is based on the fact that we've been much on our phones due to it being quarantine and lockdown um and yeah basically i've discovered five annoying types of people to have on whatsapp facebook uh, messenger instagram imessage it doesn't really matter but these are the top five annoying people to have so yeah let's get straight into it quick disclaimer this is not a personal attack on anybody we are more for peace and love you know um we've all had the states one way or another so yeah um let's get straight to it so coming in at number five right is the hey can I ask you a favor type of contact? I'm gonna go through a scenario and you can tell me if you've gone through something similar. So you turn on your phone and then you go on your WhatsApp and then you get a message. You go into the message and the person's like, hey bro, You're like yo, what's up? What's good? The person's like, yo, can I need to I need to ask you for a favor? Gee, um, thanks, I'm doing okay, I guess. <laughs> then the person's like, yo, can you go quickly do this for me? I need it by this date. Um, I really like, yeah, can you do X, Y, and Z for me? And then you think to yourself, like, listen, I genuinely cannot help this guy. And then what does a person do? Leaves you on red. Hi there, Red. I'm Fedora, and your profile rather intrigues me. I think you look rather... scrumptious. Would you be interested in drinks with a gentleman? Nope. Fuck you then. Another thing is that half of the time, those favors can be easily done by yourself. Either by going on Wikipedia, going on YouTube, going on WikiHow, going on Google, any of these services can really just, what you call it, help you out, you know? Um, and everybody likes being helpful. I like being helpful. Everybody, humans like helping other humans. That's what makes us human, you know? But nobody likes the feeling of being used as cheap labor. Number four is the overly sexual, sexual girl, you know? everybody has this contact right so this type of girl is the girl that you know she has certain things that other girls maybe might not have certain things you know or she maybe you know she's very confident in her sexuality and she just wants to express that to the world and to the universe you know and like every single post whether it be a selfie whether it be a story whether it be a repost whether it be a video everything just has to be just you know sexual and overly sensual about it you know? we get it you know you, you she wants the d right we know you want that eggplant emoji it's cool right but at the end of the day nobody wants to be seeing that 24 7 especially when you're just flicking through whatsapp statuses around the family and you're just like and you know the worst part of it is that these are the same people that complain about you know men only want one thing niggas ain't but my sort of answer to that is that just imagine how creepy it would be if a guy would go around posting those kind of exactly the same posts that you'll be posting. Just saying. So annoying person number three is the broke guy that always gives financial advice. Have you ever noticed that your wealthiest contacts, like your contacts that you know are boiling, almost never post financial advice? motivational posts like none of that right um but i mean it's always the broke guys that's be doing that my thing is that selling weed or shoes does not make you jeff bezos oh that comes from hawaii and canada and it gets the dirt mixes it in with the weed in a very special way it's actually very scientific i won't go into it right now but i am the only guy in the whole city that has it whether it be from reposting of motivational twitter accounts to Instagram pages called Billionaire Mindset or Billionaire Boys Club Vibes. It's all just the same. Like in an ideal world, these guys just picture lions walking around in tuxedos and driving Ferraris with a Rolex showing. I'm, I'm like... Do me a favor, please. Get out of here. Get out of here, man. Shit, I'm saying... You know, number two is the... Yo, dude. Can you send me that? Yo, there's... <laughs> If I get one more person asking if I could send them a photo or status of mine, which they can clearly screenshot. Hey! Don't angry me. Yeah, but all jokes aside, there is actually a new tech innovation that's going on that's got the whole science field raving. Um, yeah, it's actually an invention called a screenshot, right? 
and that you can actually take when you see something that you like you can screenshot it and then there you'll have the photo the same thing goes for videos fun fact is that you can actually any video that you see on whatsapp the stories you can actually just um, download it for yourself all of the images and stories that you see on all the whatsapp it actually gets stored physically onto your phone that is the way that you can actually watch and view statuses that you've already watched before without any data because for those 24 hours those are actually kept onto your phone so there's a way which you can i'll put a link in the description where you can actually access all of those files so actually that's a quick cool way you can actually get all of the files that you see on whatsapp you can actually just get it onto your phone so yeah that's a cool tip so the last annoying person on our whatsapp contact is the vengeful soundcloud rapper me nigga y'all gonna put some respect on my name okay so let me know if this sounds familiar okay yeah I don't know why people are out there supporting, downloading Travis Scott. Almost like in the States, he knows you. Support, support, rap, 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 nah, nah. Yeah, I'm gonna listen to Travis Scott because he's not angry all the time. You know, nobody's gonna listen to some guy who's just spreading out negativity all the time. Nigga, when my name come up, respect it. A wise man once said that you can attract more flies with honey than with vinegar, but then you can also attract even more flies with a bag of shit. So, I mean, nothing sucks more than getting a link Bro, why are you calling? Oh, I got a new record. You ain't get my text. No, I did not see a text message. I did not listen to the. Look, man, it's a new record, bro. It better be good, yo. Link to an Instagram asking you to share, download, comment on the latest tag that this guy released clearly not specifying the person who they're sending it to so that they can send it to a hundred of people you know i mean if you're going to be sending a text to someone you might as well include their name or little message so that you can actually almost genuinely seem like you're interested in their opinion on their songs and i promise you the person is way more likely to actually give your song a listen than if you just give a generic post but listen to my latest single fire emoji and three droplets emoji Anyway, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you feel so inclined to drop a subscribe, you know, that's most welcome. Also, we're available for, you know, video suggestions or anything like that. Anyway, stay safe and I'll see you on that flip side.